Hello everyone. In this module, we are going to study about the fragmentation in hydrocarbons. Before that, we should know that in, in the beginning of the mass spectrometry, I have told you that every class of organic compound will show different kind of fragmentation and each fragmentation is different and hence mass spectrometry is called as chemical fingerprint. That means to say the fragmentation shown by alkanes will not be shown by alkenes those which will, will be shown by alkenes which will not be shown by alkyne. That means every class of organic compound, even including the subclasses of the same family, will show different type of fragmentations. So in that sense, in the syllabus, we have to study about the fragmentation of different classes of organic compounds. As the first heading goes, fragmentation in hydrocarbons. And in this module, we are going to study about the fragmentation in alkanes cycloalkanes and aromatic hydrocarbons and all these uh, subclasses come under the main class hydrocarbons. First we will see about the hydrocarbons that is alkanes. We know that alkanes are the straight chain or branch chain compounds. Uh, in the case of straight chain alkanes it will show very low intensity molecular ion peaks. Say for example if the alkane has got C2 or C5 that means if the alkane has got ethane up to pentane, then they will show very intense molecular ion peaks. As the number of carbon atom increases in the alkanes, the peak intensity also decreases. That means to say increase in the molecular weight decreases the intensity of the molecular ion peak. And also in the case of branch chain, you will not see any kind of molecular ion peak. Molecular ion peaks are absent for branch chain alkanes. In the case of alkanes, we don't see any kind of a preferred site for the charge stabilization. That means to say the cleavage may take place anywhere in the alkane. There is no specific site for the cleavage because there is no preferred charge stabilization. And in the case of alkanes, that is straight chain alkanes, usually methyl groups, the elimination of methyl group is rarely encountered and hence peaks corresponding to M minus 15 is not observed. M is the molecular ion peak. Methyl, that is CH3, 12 plus 3, 15. So M minus 15, it will be rarely seen in the mass spectrum of any alkanes because methyl is eliminated very, very rarely. But sometimes it appears. Whenever there is a M minus 15 peak, you can clearly say that it is due to methyl group. Now we will see that the elimination of odd number series, say for example, M by Z with 14 N plus one, where N is the number of carbon atoms from the molecular ion peaks gives rise to masses Cn H2N plus one. That means you will see the masses at M by Z 15, 29, 43, 57, 77, sorry, 71, 85, etc. These are the usual peaks which will be observed in the mass spectrum of alkanes. We will study that when we take a particular example. Usually, 43, the peaks appearing at 43 or 57 will be the base peaks because they will show very high intensity in the mass spectrum. 43 and 57 are due to propyl and butyl cation respectively. Because there is a very high stability for propyl and butyl group, you can see that these two will be the base peaks. In the last module, we have seen that those ions or those cations which will show very high stability and they will be having very high intense peak in the mass spectrum and they will be regarded as the base peak. So on either side of this range, 14 N plus 1 ion intensities fall off rapidly. I'm going to show you about this in the next slide. Say for example, if you see a peak around 29, 43 and 57, then the prominent peaks belonging to C and H2N minus 1 at M by Z 27, 41, 55, etc. are observed. You can see here, 29 is there, 27. 43 is there, 41. 57 is there, 55. That means 29 minus 27 is 2. That means usually it will be the loss of a hydrogen molecule. So whenever you peak a, whenever you find a peak at M by Z 47 due to propyl cation, it will eliminate a molecule of hydrogen to give a prominent peak at 41. All these things we can observe in the fragmentation of heptane. So this is heptane. Heptane is a straight chain alkane. Hepta is seven. So there are seven carbon atoms in this straight chain alkane whose M by Z is 100. If you calculate, there are seven carbon atoms. So 12 times seven, 
plus uh, associated number of hydrogens. 3 plus 2, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. So 85 will be the uh, number of uh, carbon atom atomic weight and uh, our atomic mass, you can say, and hydrogen will be 15. 85 plus 15 will be 100. So M by Z 100 is the molecular weight of this heptane. So you take heptane and hit that with very high energetic electrons. One of the electrons is removed to form a molecular ion and that is represented by plus radical or radical cation. Now the first fragmentation takes place by removing this radical. You are going, the, this is the first site of a cleavage. The, once the molecular ion is formed, the energy of the electrons will be very, very high. That will lead to the formation of secondary ions or daughter ions. So now this is the molecular ion. Now we are going to get number of daughter ions. We will see what are those daughter ions or fragment ions we are going to get. So this is the first site of cleavage. First, the electron will cut this portion and it will become CH3 plus and the remaining thing CH3, CH2, 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 CH2. Instead of writing CH2 five times, I have written it as CH3, CH2 five times radical. This will radical will be lost and only the cation is observed in the mass spectrum. Its M by Z will be 15. The next is this portion where the cleavage takes place. So when this portion is cut off, you're going to get CH2, CH3 radic, uh, sorry, cation, that is ethyl cation, along with the formation of CH3, CH24 times radical. Radical is going away from the reaction, whereas cations is detected by the mass spectrometer. Now the ethyl cation so formed will be having the M by Z of 29. It will lose the molecule of hydrogen and it is going to form CH2 double bond CH plus, whose M by Z will be 27. Next is the preferred site of cleavage is this portion. The cleavage takes place here. When the cleavage takes place here, you are going to get a propyl cation because there are three carbon atoms. So you can see CH3, CH2, CH2 plus, along with the elimination of CH3, CH2 thrice, radical. So always radical should be written against the arrow mark, whereas the cation should be written below the arrow mark. Now we know that the propyl cation is highly unstable and it rearranges to form a more stable cation. Here, this H will be migrating to this place. Eventually, the positive charge will be coming to the middle carbon atom. It leads to isopropyl cation. We know that isopropyl cation or propyl cation, it is highly stable because of the charge stabilization whose M by Z will be 43. Now this 43 M by Z ion, it will lose a molecule of hydrogen to form CH3C plus double bond CH2 to give M, uh, M by Z around 41. So H2, one H from here, another H from here will be lost. The next site of cleavage is this portion. So the cleavage takes place here. When the cleavage takes place here, you are going to get CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 plus, that is butyl cation, four carbon atoms are there. That's why it is butyl, along with the elimination of CH3, CH2 twice, radical. That is what you are seeing here. We know that uh, butyl cation has got the M by Z of 57. This is highly unstable and it rearranges to form a more stable tertiary butyl cation. This is tertiary butyl cation. This tertiary butyl cation, it loses a molecule of hydrogen and it forms CH3, CH3, C double bond CH plus. So one CH2 from here and uh, uh, sorry, two CH2 from this CH3 will be lost and this results in the formation of a peak at M by Z 55. The last is this portion. This is the site of cleavage now. Here the cleavage takes place to form CH3, CH2, 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 CH2. That means a pentyl radical, uh, sorry, pentyl cation is formed along with the elimination of ethyl radical. That's why we have written against the aromat and below the aromat we have written the pentyl cation whose M by Z is 71. This also loses a molecule of hydrogen to form a peak at M by Z 69 whose structure is CH3, CH2, C, CH3 double bond, CH plus. This is the fragmentation in case of straight chain alkanes that is heptane. When you see the mass spectrum of heptane, you will see that a number of peaks will be formed among those peaks. So a mass spectrum is the plot of M by Z versus relative abundance. You will see number of peaks 
among those peaks, the one which has got very high molecular weight, that will be the molecular ion usually. So in this case, M by Z is 100. So you are obtaining a peak at 100. So this is the molecular ion peak. The next, the 100. So the relative abundance is 100. And this is 43. This 43 is corresponding to a propyl cation. We know that propyl cation, hence it becomes the base peak. On either side of the base peak, the intensity falls off rapidly here. So when you sketch this and when you join all the lines, you will see that more or less a Gaussian shape curve. Here, you start from here and you go here, it will go to the maximum. Again, it will come down. So you will see a bell-shaped curve. That means to say, on either side of the base peak, you will see that the intensity falls off rapidly. This is the case of fragmentation of heptane. So remember carefully, first you are supposed to write the molecular formula first of whatever the molecule given, write, calculate the M by Z of that and put the radical cation. Once you do this, next you have to start the fragmentation from one point onwards, first this point, second, third, fourth, fifth. So if I give octane, again you have to go for one more. If I give nonane, decane, dodecane, it will keep on continuing like this, but the same method has to be followed. So whenever the cleavage takes place, remember that you are going to get cation as well as radical. Radical is not detected in the mass spectrometer, only the cations will be detected by the mass spectrometer and it will give peaks in the mass spectrum. Hence, cations should be written below the arrow mark, whereas radical should be written against the arrow mark. You are supposed to calculate the m by z of each cation formed here because that is what has to be represented in the mass spectrum. This is the case of fragmentation of heptane. Next. We will go for a branch chain compound. So far we have studied about the straight chain alkane, that is heptane. Now we will go for the branching in alkanes. So in the case of branch chain alkanes, so the bonds tends to rupture at the branches, resulting in the formation of relatively stable secondary and tertiary carbocations. Such ions are always more intense than the isomeric primary RCH2 plus ions. The ion formed by the loss of largest radical will usually be the base peak. Now we will understand this by taking the example of 2,2-diethyl pentane. This is the structure of 2,2-diethyl pentane. How to draw this? First take out the base. The base here is pentane. So 5, write 5 carbon atoms and fulfill with the hydrogens. Now he has given 2,2-diethyl. Start numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At Second carbon, you are supposed to have two ethyls. One ethyl is CH2CH3, another ethyl is at CH2CH3. So this is the structure of 2,2-diethyl pentane. Now when you hit this with very high energetic electrons, it will form the molecular ion. So this is the molecular ion of 2,2-diethyl pentane. Now we have to study the fragmentation in this case. So we can see that this is not a straight chain alkene or this is not a simple alkene because the branching has taken place, you will see that usually at the branches, wherever the branching is taking place, there the favored position for cleavage takes place. So branching is the favored position for cleavage. So the branching is taking place here. This will happen. So if there is any loss of largest radical and such a peak will be usually the base peak. Now we will see here in this case. Now, this is the branching CH2CH3. If I remove that CH2CH3 radical is lost, I'm going to get this cation whose M by Z is 99. On the other hand, if I take the largest radical, so this is the largest radical, if I take this, if I remove this CH2CH2CH3 radical, I'm going to be left with this. In this case, both are, uh, this is, tertiary uh, cation and this is also tertiary cation. We know the tertiary carbocations and they are relatively more stable. In this case, usually what happens is the M by Z with 85 peak will be the favored and this will be the base peak because here in this case, this is formed by the loss of largest radical that is propyl radical. We have told here the ion formed by the loss of largest radical will be the usually the base peak. So since here the largest radical is lost, that is propyl radical, and this M by Z85 will be the base peak. So here 
in this 2 2 diethyl pentane you are going to uh, have two types of uh, cleavages one is ch2 ch3 cleavage another one is propyl cleavage when you do that you will get two peaks one around m by z 99 another one m by z 85 and 85 will be the base peak in this case now we will take a problem and we'll try to solve the question goes like this discuss the fragmentation pattern of 3,3 dimethyl heptane by drawing the structures of the ions of the peaks corresponding to M by Z 15, 27, 29, 41, 43, 55, 57, 71, 85. So in this case, he has clearly indicated that we are supposed to write the fragmentation for 3,3 dimethyl heptane. So whenever there is three a numbering given like this, you can clearly say that it should be a branch chain alkane there is no straight chain that is the first clue we are getting from this next he has asked for so many peaks here among these peaks you have to start fetching some information so 15 it should be definitely due to ch3 27 29 there is difference of two that means 29 should be ethyl radical when you remove a hydrogen molecule from ethyl radical you are going to get 27 41, 43, again two difference. 43 should be propyl radical. When you remove a hydrogen molecule that is 2, it becomes 41. So definitely these two should be propyl radical. And also you can see that 43 is in bracket 100%. That means 43 peak will be the base peak in the mass spectrum of 33 dimethyl heptane. And the next case is 55, 57, again two difference, two mass unit difference. Definitely, this should be due to butyl radical. Uh, butyl radical is 57. When you lose a molecule of hydrogen that is minus 2, it becomes 55. The last one is 71 and 85. We will see what these peaks are due to. Whenever there is a compound of this type, first you are supposed to look for the base. Here the base is heptane. Hepta is 7. So write 7 carbon atoms and fulfill all the hydrogens. Now, 3, 3. So, you are supposed to start numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, there are 7 carbon atoms here. Now, on the third position, you are supposed to write 2 methyl groups because he has given 3, 3 time methyl. So, at the same carbon atom, write 2 methyl groups. So, this becomes 3, 3 time methyl heptane. The next step is to calculate the M by Z of this. How many carbon atoms are there? No doubt here there are seven because this is heptane and there are two here, nine. 12 times nine, 108 plus the number of hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen is one. So when you calculate the, it comes to around 128. Now we have to start solving the fragmentation. The first step is the removal of this big radical, it results in the formation of CH3 plus because he has asked for 15. So when you want to have 15, remove this much, you are left with 15, that is CH3 plus methyl cation, whose M by Z is 15, and the rest should be written as a radical here. The next step is, you are supposed to cut here because you want peak around 29. So ethyl is 12 plus 12, 24, 26 plus 3, 29. So this is 29 ethyl radical. Now, when you have, eth sorry, ethyl cation, this is ethyl cation with M by Z 29. You have, have written it below the arrow mark. Now the rest, it comes as the radical. So you write against the arrow mark. Now also we want along with 29, we want 27. So remove a molecule of hydrogen, write CH double bond CH plus, it will have M by Z 27. Now the third one is 43. Definitely it should be propyl cation. So the site of cleavage is this one. When you cleave this, you are going to get CH3, CH2, CH2 plus. That is propyl cation whose M by Z is 43. We know that this propyl cation is highly unstable and hence it rearranges to a isopropyl type. After this, you are going to see a molecule of hydrogen is removed to form M by Z 41. Next we want 55. Definitely this will be the site of cleavage because 50 and 57 for butyl CH3 CH2 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 plus we know that it is highly unstable it rearranges for the most stable tertiary butyl carbocation this is M by Z 57 remove a molecule of hydrogen to get M by Z 55 here the next one is 71 so when you 
remove this part ch2 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 ch3 radical this part at the site of branching you are supposed to have the cleavage the resulting net will be uh, this cation whose m by z is 71 the last peak is at 85 this 85 uh, will be once you remove this ch uh this uh, you have to remove this ch2 ch2 ch3 when you remove this ch2 ch2 ch3 the rest will have the molecular weight with m by z of 85 this is the case of fragmentation of 33 dimethyl heptane so we have satisfied for all the structures that they have given it here coming to the case of uh, cycloalkanes so cycloalkanes are the cyclic versions of the alkane straight chain alkanes here the fragmentation of cycloalkanes takes place to a lesser extent because it involves the fission of two bonds to form a fragment say for example this is cyclohexane if you want to do fragmentation in case of cyclic versions of alkanes that is cycloalkanes then you need to rupture bonds at two sites that results in the formation of a fragment and hence the fragmentation takes place to a lesser extent in case of cycloalkanes usually the molecular ion peak in case of cycloalkanes is more intense compared to straight chain alkanes having the same number of carbon atoms say for example we'll take hexane and cyclohexane in case of hexane you may not see very intense molecular ion peak but the same version in the cyclic form that is cyclohexane if you do the mass spectrum you will get very intense molecular ion peak having the same number of carbon atoms because the rupture of this take uh, essentially leads to the formation of only single fragment and not two fragments that is the reason why we get very strong peaks in the case of cyclic versions usually in the case of cycloalkanes there will be a loss of molecule of ethene and that is very very common that can be either from the parent molecule or from the intermediate radical cation now we will again take the example of cyclohexane here it has formed a molecular ion instead of breaking a bond we have written as plus radical imagine there will uh, one bond means two electrons one electron is already lost because of the formation of molecular ion and hence it has been written as plus so there is a bond here usually it involves the removal of a alkene molecule so this bond shifts here so essentially it becomes double bond that is ch2 double bond ch2 a molecule of alkene is eliminated that results in the formation of a four membered structure straight chain so cyclic version is converted into aliphatic version and the m by z of cyclohexane is 84 whereas after the formation of the fragment you will have m by z at 56 and this is the usually taking place phenomenon in the case of cycloalkanes uh, removal of alkene is the characteristic feature of cycloalkanes if there is any side chain present in the cycloalkane then that will be usually lost during the fragmentation now consider the case of cycloheptane so this cycloheptane the side chain is methyl usually this methyl group is lost that results in the formation of cyclopentane cation this is cyclopentane cation and from here also you will see that a molecule of ethene is lost this is five member ring ethene is ch2 double bond ch2 two electrons sorry two carbons are lost that results in the formation of c3hy plus whose m by z is at 41 next the same side chain uh, having cyclopentane that is one methyl cyclopentane whose m by z is 84 and here the molecular ion is already formed along with the removal of ch2 this bond tends to break up that results in the formation of m by z 56 so here in this case what happens here a molecule of ethene is eliminating along with the rupture of this bond homolytic fission takes place this bond imagine there are two electrons one electron is going here another electron is coming here so you will have 1 2 3 1 2 3 and ch3 1 2 3 and ch3 whose m by z is 56 here because it is donating the uh, both the electrons you are getting a positive charge here there is one electron is retained and hence a radical is formed this is the case if the cycloalkane is having a side chain in it 
So this is the mass spectrum of one methyl cyclopentane. You will see that there is a, a peak at M by Z84. M by Z84, this is the molecular ion peak. And the peak at 56 is the base peak. This is the base peak because this is charge stabilization taking place here. Because of that, it is having very high abundance or high intensity due to which the peak appearing at 56 will be called as base peak. The rest is 41. You can see 41 peak here, the 56. And this is 69 also it is seen. Along with that, you will have the molecular ion peak. So this is the mass spectrum of cyclopentane, one methyl or one methyl cyclopentane. Now we will take up a problem to discuss. Discuss the mass spectral fragmentation of one methyl cyclohexane and account for the peaks at M by Z, 85, 70, 100% and 58. Now, according to this, what we have to write is, first we have to write the structure of one methyl cyclohexane. So the base here is the cyclohexane, right cyclohexane. And the first position you write a methyl group. And uh, you will see that when you hit this with very high energetic electrons, an electron is lost to result in the formation of molecular ion. Now, the second step is to calculate the M by Z value for this. There are six carbon atoms plus one seven, 12 times seven plus number of hydrogens. Three, four, four plus four, eight, eight plus four, 12, 12 plus two is 15. So these are the number of hydrogens present in it. Now we have to discuss or we have to account for the structures of the peaks appearing due to 85, 70 and 58. The given a clue that 70 is the base peak because it is having 100% abundance. Now the first thing we have to do here is the M by Z is 98 and the first peak here last is 85. 98 minus 85 we have to think Sorry, this should be 83, not 85. Uh, when you remove the side chain, we know that whenever there is a side chain in the cycloalkane, that is the preferred mode of fragmentation. Now remove this CH3. So CH3 radical is lost. That results in the formation of cyclohexane cation whose M by Z is 83. Next, we have to see that a molecule of ethene will be eliminated and that results in the formation of a four-membered uh, structure that is C4H7 plus that is uh, butyl cation whose M by Z is 55. This butyl cation is after removal of one molecule of hydrogen. We're going to get C4H7 plus its M by Z is 55. Now we have to account for the fact that the 70 will be the base peak. So what can be done? Along with the removal of alkene, homolytic fission should also be done. So here remove this bond, when you remove this bond, the plus charge will be retained here and this bond undergoes homolytic cleavage to form one radical if is given here, another radical is going there that results in the formation of an ethene. So ethene is eliminated that will give a peak at M by Z 70. So this will, because this is charge stabilized ion and this is appearing as the base peak that is the result why it has been given as 100% in the mass spectrum. So this is the mass spectrum of one methyl cyclohexane. You will see that the molecular ion, the highest region, the mass spectrum is called the molecular ion. M by Z is 98. You will see a peak around 98. Now 70 is the base peak. You will see that uh, 70 is here. But we are not sure why 83 has been given as the base peak. Sometimes, because uh, this, this has also got the charge, so 85 has appeared as the base peak here. And also we have a peak at 55. So this 55 is here, that is due to butyl cation. So there will be many peaks in the mass spectrum. You don't have to account for all the peaks, only the significant peaks should be accounted for the given mass spectrum. Next, we will go for the aromatic hydrocarbons. In the case of aromatic hydrocarbons, they are the unsaturated hydrocarbons. Uh, so far we have studied about straight chain and branched alkanes. They are saturated hydrocarbons. In the case of aromatic hydrocarbons, they are unsaturated because aromaticity is coming there. That means you will have the double bonds in this cyclic version. 
Usually in the case of aromatic hydrocarbon, molecular ion peaks are very, very intense, meaning that its abundance is very, very high because the molecular ion is formed by the loss of a pi electron. See here, this is benzene, a simple aromatic hydrocarbon. It loses one electron to form a plus cation or radical cation. And the radical so formed, it exists in a large number of resonance forms. So the radical and the cation, it keeps on changing its place because of the resonance. You will see that the molecular ions of aromatic hydrocarbons will be having very, very high intensity peaks. Now, this bond will be shifted here. Eventually, plus charge is going here. So plus charge is coming in this position. Now, this bond is moving here. The, the plus charge will be moving here. The plus charge has come. Double bond has been shifted here. So this is having M by Z78. That is 78 is the molecular weight of benzene because of so many resonance forms the molecular ion peaks will show very very intense peak next the benzene molecular ion loses the hydrogen radical to give a peak at 77 so here this is benzene this is the molecular ion of benzene it usually loses a hydrogen radical that results in the formation of m by z 77 this is called phenyl cation or in simple c6h5 plus Usually, M by Z78 is more intense than the M by Z77 because 78 show resonance stabilization, whereas 77 does not involve stabilization. Though it is aromatic, it will not involve any kind of resonance because of the presence of positive charge that is cation and uh, its intensity will be less compared to M by Z78. You will see that in this case. So the positive charge on the phenyl cation it cannot be delocalized because the positive charge is present in the MD sp2 hybrid orbital of the uh, ring and also this is in the plane of the ring. That is the reason why phenyl cation is not stabilized but still it is aromatic and reasonably stable compared to alternative other non-aromatic ions of benzene. Here in this case, a positive charge is present in the MD sp2 hybrid orbital and this is present in the plane of the ring. That is the reason why this is not involved in the delocalization of electrons. No delocalization of electrons, no resonance. Because resonance is not taking place, its molecular ion peak will be very, very less intense compared to M by Z78. So the phenyl cation M by Z is 77. And, uh, but still, this phenyl cation is aromatic in nature and it is reasonably stable when compared to other non-aromatic forms of benzene that is not uh, under the scope of study for today's module. Coming to the next point, the phenyl cation so formed, it eliminates an acetylene molecule to form a peak at 51 M by Z. So this is M by Z 77, this is phenyl cation, it, uh, benzene is there. Benzene will lose a hydrogen radical that results in the formation of M by Z 77, that is phenyl cation. And this phenyl cation, it usually eliminates a molecule of acetylene or ethyne, that is CH, triple bond CH is lost. So what is its molecular weight? 12, 12, 24, 24 plus 2 is 26. Ethene is 28, whereas uh, ethyne is 26. So when two carbon atoms are removed, six carbon atom becomes four carbon atom. Cyclic version becomes aliphatic version. And this is highly unstable. It rearranges to a cyclic form. This is cyclobutane cation, whose M by Z is 51. And this will be the usually base peak in the case of benzene. This is base peak because it is resonance stabilized as well as charge stabilized. Because both the properties are present or associated for this compound, you can see that this will be having 100% abundance in the mass spectrum. Say for example, if benzene is substituted some, uh, with some alkyl groups, we will see how the cleavage takes place. The most characteristic cleavage of alkyl benzene occur at the beta to the aromatic ring and that results in the formation of the famous propylium cation and that will be the base peak essentially. Now we will take the case of benzene with a substitution. Here the substitution is ethyl and hence it is called as ethyl benzene. First, what you are supposed to uh, see here, if the benzene is substituted, then the preferred cleavage is beta to the ring. So this is the ring, this is alpha, and this is beta. So here, 
the cleavage takes place. That means M minus 15 is lost. A methyl radical is lost. Methyl is 15. So this is M, M minus 15. And that results in the formation of, you will see here M by Z, 91. A methyl radical is lost, resulting in the formation of a benzyl cation. So this benzyl cation, we know that it undergoes a simple rearrangement, hydrogen transfer reaction, wherein the carbon, which is outside the ring, becomes a part of the ring. So six-membered ring eventually becomes a seven-membered ring with a positive charge delocalization taking place. And its M by Z is 91. So this is the usual formation of propidium cation in place of substituted uh, alkyl benzene. If M by Z 97 is present, then that will be the base peak. Now, this M by Z propylium cation is not very, very stable. It loses a molecule of ethyne or acetylene. Acetylene is two carbon. So from seven carbon atoms, if you, if you remove two carbon atoms, that results in the formation of a five-membered ring. This is called cyclopentadienyl cation, whose M by Z is appearing at 65. This is also highly unstable. It also loses a molecule of acetylene or ethyne. Five membered ring is losing two carbon atoms that become C3H3 plus whose M by Z is 39. This is the fate of the reaction whenever there is an alkyl group present in the benzene ring. If at all there is any beta position attached to the benzene ring, then beta is removed. That will result in the formation of benzyl cation. Benzyl cation will undergo rearrangement to form propylium cation. Propylium cation will remove ethyne to form cyclopentadienyl cation. Cyclopentadienyl will remove a molecule of ethyne or acetylene to form a propyl cation whose M by Z is at 39. This is the characteristic feature in the case of alkyl benzene. On the other hand, the same alkyl benzene can lose a hydrogen radical. So from this CH2, 1H is lost. 1H is lost in the form of radical and that becomes C6H5, CH, CH3 plus. That is having M by Z105. This is also highly unstable. It rearranges to what is known as methyl tropelium cation. This is 91 plus 15. It becomes 105. Here in this case, the methyl group is present outside. The CH will be a part of the ring because of the hydrogen transfer rearrangement and hence it becomes a seven-membered ring uh, with the methyl group projecting outside and hence it is called as methyl propylium cation. So these are the characteristic reactions of alkyl benzene. So this is the mass spectrum of ethyl benzene. You will see that there is a peak at 106. This is the molecular ion peak. There is a peak at 91. This is the base peak because it has got 100% abundance. The rest of the peaks you can easily see here. So there is a peak around 39. You can see that 39 is due to this propyl cation. Here there is 65 that is due to cyclopentadienyl cation. There are of course other peaks which are not so significant and it is out of the scope of study and then only main peaks have to be taken into consideration. Now let us take uh, the substituted benzene in two different fashions. This is the case of 1,3 dimethyl benzene or common name, simply we can call it as metaxylene, whose M by Z is 106. Simply you have to calculate. There are six carbon atoms, seven, eight. Totally there are eight carbon atoms, 12 times eight. Remaining hydrogens you have to calculate. It comes to around 106. Now you are supposed to form a molecular ion. Once this molecular ion is formed, you will see that methyl radical is usually lost. M minus 15 will be taking place. That results in the formation of toline. This toline, it loses hydrogen radical to form what is known as M by Z 91, that is propylium cation. Propylium cation, it loses a molecule of acetylene to form cyclopentadienyl cation at M by Z 65. This loses a molecule of acetylene to form M by Z 35, that is propyl 39. M by Z39, that is propyl cation having C3H3+. plus. So this is the mass spectrum of 1,3-dimethyl uh, benzene. You will see that 1O6 is here. 1O6, this is the molecular ion. This is 91. This is the base peak, that is uh, 
propylium cation and you can see 65 that is due to cyclopentadienyl cation you can see 39 that is due to propyl cation this uh, this is how even if the substitution pattern varies the, um, the last problem and this one they have got same m by z 106 106 but the substitution pattern is different when the substitution pattern is different this part becomes the same whereas from that uh, Ethyl benzene, you saw that there will be a loss of hydrogen radical that results in the formation of methyl tropylium cation. Whereas in this case, there is no formation of methyl tropylium cation because the substitution pattern itself is different here. Now, coming to another uh, alkyl benzene. So, if the alkyl benzene has got more than three carbon atoms, then in such cases, you will see that macrophyte rearrangement takes place. What is Maclefati rearrangement? It is the migration of gamma hydrogen atom along with the formation of a cleavage, sorry, along with the cleavage of beta bond. This is the case of N propyl benzene. This is propyl, one, two, three carbon atoms are there. This is the alkyl group attached to benzene ring. We have seen that in this case, alpha, beta, gamma, three carbon atoms are there. So Maclefati rearrangement takes place by the migration of this gamma hydrogen to this position and double bond moves here followed by the cleavage of beta bond. So you will see that in Maclefati rearrangement an uh, alkene molecule that is neutral molecule is lost that results in the formation of M by Z 92 and that is called as Maclefati rearranged ion. And in this case Maclefati rearranged ion uh, will lose a molecule we will lose a hydrogen radical to form M by Z 91. We know that 91 loses a molecule of acetylene to form cyclopentadienyl cation at 65. This loses a molecule of acetylene uh, to form M by Z 39 that is propyl cation. This is the mass spectrum of uh, N-propyl benzene. So this is the M plus ion 119. You will see that at 91, sorry at 90 one, you will see that the formation of base peak due to the tropylium cation. Also, you have at uh, 40, 50, 60, 65, you will see that peak due to cyclopentadienyl cation and 39 due to propyl cation. This is about uh, the alkyl substitution when there are more than three carbon atoms present in the benzene ring. The next point. Usually M plus plus one and M plus plus two peaks are noticed due to the large abundance of molecular ion. Because this is the aromatic hydrocarbon, resonance will be there. Because of resonance, the molecular ion peak will be having very, very large abundance. That means very intense. Because of that, you will see that M plus plus one and M plus plus two peaks are formed. If there is more than two or three benzene atoms attached together, they are called polynuclear hydrocarbons. In that case, doubly or triply charged ions like M plus 2 and M plus 3 charges are possible because this lose, if there is one benzene ring, M plus is formed. If there are two benzene rings attached or fused together, that is the case of naphthalene. So from both the rings, two hydrogen radicals are eliminated. That's why it will become M plus 2. If three benzene rings are fused together in the case of anthracene, then from each benzene ring, a hydrogen radical is formed. Uh, so they removed that is three H radicals are removed that will result in the formation of M plus three. So this is the case of polynuclear hydrocarbons. So if there is only one benzene ring, it will have only M plus. So based on this, we will uh, work out a problem, explain the fragmentation mode in N-butyl benzene and give the structures of the ions formed due to, the, due to M by Z 134, 105, 92, 91, 65, 51, 27. When such a problem is given, first you are supposed to write the structure of the compound given. This is N-butyl benzene. First write benzene. So that you have to write four carbon atoms. So this is N-butyl benzene whose molecular weight is 134. So one structure is obtained. Now the next uh, item is given is 105. In this case, what you have to do is 134 minus 105. Whatever you have for this, so 135, if you remove 105, that means 
and methyl 29 29 that is an ethyl radical should be lost when you remove the ethyl radical that results in the formation of c6h5 ch2 ch3 and that will have 105 from 105 to subtract 92 this 92 will be definitely due to McLafferty rearrangement so this is McLafferty rearranged ion uh, that is the migration of gamma hydrogen atom followed by the cleavage of beta bond that results in the formation of MYZ92 that is McLafferty rearranged ion and this is 91 definitely this 91 this uh, propyl radical will be lost C6H5 CH2 plus will be there this is the one and uh, this loses hydrogen radical to form this MYZ91 we know that this is highly unstable benzyl cation and this will form a propylium cation this propylium cation is 91 this tropylium cation loses a molecule of acetylene to form a cyclopentadienyl cation at M by Z65. Next, 51, we have to check how can we do this. Now we have uh, N butyl benzene. Here, the homolytic fusion takes place. That results in the formation of phenyl cation at M by Z77. This phenyl cation removes a molecule of acetylene. That results in the formation of a four-member ring cyclobutane cation that will have M by Z 51. The last is 27. How 27 is formed? Remove ethyl radical CH3CH2. And from that, you remove a molecule of hydrogen that becomes CH2 double bond CH plus that will have M by Z 27. So this is how you have to account for all the peaks observed in the mass spectrum of any compound given. This is the case of N-butyl benzene. Hope you have understood. If at all you have got any problems, please come on to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.